Today, we are going to be talking about quick wins you can achieve by using VMware security to secure your virtual infrastructure. Your infrastructure is typically made up of things like DNS, Active Directory, code repositories, logging servers, and more. These are usually known as common services. Using VMware security, you can quickly start your journey to achieve better security within minutes without causing connectivity issues to your business critical apps. Let's see how this can be done. There are many ways you can use VMware security to secure your virtual infrastructure. Your logical topology may influence your decision when deciding to use the distributed firewall or the gateway firewall. In this example, we have a tier one router for production, user acceptance testing, quality assurance, development, and finally, common services. Each tier one has a segment connected to it where the workloads connect to the network. This gives us flexibility to use both distributed firewall and gateway firewall to protect our workloads. In this video, we will be focusing on using a tag-based strategy with distributed firewall to secure our virtual infrastructure. We start by creating the groups that will dynamically add or delete common service workloads as they are created and destroyed. Each workload will have a tag attached to them. The tag is what tells the group what workloads to include as members. The groups are then used to generate security policy in both the distributed firewall and gateway firewall. We can use both pre-made services and custom service definitions for policy creation. Here we create several unique services for satellite, key management systems, and many more. Once we have our groups and services created, we now tag the workloads so they can be dynamically added to the groups. In this example, we tag the Active Directory server with the tag AD. This dynamically adds it to the Active Directory server group as a member. Remember, if we delete workloads in the future, they will automatically be removed from the group without the need for manual intervention. We can place rules in the Infrastructure section, the Environment section, and finally the Application section within the Distributed Firewall. When we want to secure our virtual infrastructure, we'll put in the Infrastructure section. Now we have a plethora of rules to be able to lock down access to our common services, things like Active Directory, Satellite, Repository, and many, many more that might be specific to your organization. The important thing here is getting quick wins to be able to allow traffic that is required while blocking everything else so that that way you can secure the workloads as best as possible. We can also protect from insecure protocols as well, like Telnet, FTP, TFTP, things that are unencrypted that we normally wouldn't want to have reach our common services. And of course, we're going to have an allow any any at the very end to make sure that we don't affect the traffic loads of our critical business apps. In this video, we talked about how VMware Security's distributed firewall could help secure your virtual infrastructure. VMware Security can help protect your workloads from the rising number of malicious threats. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.